Welcome. So today we are going to be taking a quick look at a new Kaiserwitter sub module, a red and black dawn version 2.2. So Kaiser Reader is a mod for Hearts of Iron 4 where Germany has won World War I. And it is comprised of many, many different sub-mods that add a lot of niche political content that you won't really find anywhere else in the world. So one of these mod one of these sub-mods is a red and black dawn version 2.0. So let's take a quick look at what all new things this mod adds. So the first thing you'll see is the Red Roadrunner Rifle. This is a focus tree for the path of Goddard, Samuel Pearson Goddard, who was one time uh, governor of Arizona. And he, uh, in this timeline, he's a radical progressive socialist. So his tree involves civil rights without compromise, free healthcare and education, encouraging artists, and destroying the conservatives and Frank Lloyd Wright. Now, Frank Lloyd Wright was just an architect, and you'll wonder that, hey, why is this, this governor trying to destroy a mere architect? We should get back to that. But before that, let's see. So, reconcile with Mexico, control the cowboys, and the status of Barry Goldwater. So, again, for those who don't know, America explodes into different warlock states and kind of reader. And in Arizona, the cowboy culture means that a lot of influential families and other types of bands are just roving free. So Goddard will bring them all under his control and there shall be civil rights. But for now, let's move on to the next warlock. So again, this is in Arizona itself. Calais Sin Rises. So this is a reference to Frank Lloyd Wright. So Frank Lloyd Wright uh, was an American architect and he was a proponent of organic architecture and building with nature, building into the prairie and building with family values. So basically in this timeline, he has built up his own ideology called Calais Sin. It involves a kind of connection with nature, while at the same time, some kind of Arizonian nationalism mixed with the cult of the cowboy, and many other personal views of Frank Lloyd Wright, which he has borrowed from his architectural view. So, in this focus tree, you should first found the Department of Planning. Frank Lloyd should change all homes in Arizona to align with his idea of the Usonian house. Basically, a house where the family stays together and it is built in harmony with nature. After that, uh, there will be collective ranches because once again, the community must stay together and radical de-urbanization shall be followed. Arizona shall remain connected with the nature. Then he shall destroy the Red Road Runner, which is, as we discussed, Goddard. He shall purge the disease of democracy because true family values and harmony with nature cannot be achieved by the ballot. Day of the spiral force. We all know what this is referring to. Only the fellowship. I mean, day of the spiral force is referring to a kind of night of the long night. Then rewrite history in Frank Lloyd's own voice. Deal with anarchists and Jacobins. An Arizonian technocratic committee shall be established. Architectural beauty shall be prioritized. The ideology shall be defined. And then he shall contact the Confederate States of America, after which he can either choose to join the Third International and fight alongside the, sorry, what, I didn't I said Confederate States of America. I mean to say the American Socialists. And then the, or, or else he can choose to not join the Third International, which is the main socialist faction in this world of opposed German victory. And he can just seal the borders of Arizona. So Arizona shall be locked and in harmony with nature. After that, we move on to John Connally saves Texas. So Texas is another wall of state in this timeline. And John Connally in our timeline 
He was first a Democrat, then he became a Republican, and then he became the Secretary of Treasury under Richard Nixon. Now, in this timeline, he comes to power in Texas in the 1940s, in the 1930s. And yes, so he designs a system of law and order, subjugates the Rangers, finishes off the Texaco company, thus consolidating his rule. He ends the longest and the KKK threats. And then he crushes syndicalism and he creates a real house of un-Texan activity. This is going to be interesting. And after that, he can ally himself with Lyndon Johnston and answer the question of civil rights. So whether it be some kind of esoteric ideology of Talaistin or the Red Roadrunner or John Connolly, everyone will have to deal with the question of civil rights while America itself is in, in, is in its own civil war, the second American civil war. After that, we take a look at one of the most nightmarish countries on earth, H.P. Lovecraft's true black spot, New England. He shall seal the borders completely, and he shall use nuclear weapons to ensure that nothing ever gets in or nothing gets to leave. He shall establish a hermit kingdom akin to North Korea. Now, H.P. Lovecraft is already inside Kaiser Redux, but this submod, the Red and Black Dawn, establishes a new way for H.P. Lovecraft to deal with New England. So, in normal Kaiser Redux, he's just an esoteric person who believes in weird stuff, basically, that he wrote. But he can also choose to become a much more pragmatically destructive hermit king of New England. So if you want to laugh as North Korea but with Lovecraftian characteristics, then download this mod now. I shall leave a link in the description. After that, we move on to some new content that it has for Chile, the Socialist Republic of Chile. So here we got Arturo Puga, who is the Red Caudillo. Now, in our timeline, he was head of a military junta in, in June 1932 in Chile. But in this timeline, he is a syndicalist, Caudillo, a very unique kind of military junta which supports syndicalism and workers' democracy. Democracy is, by the way, in implied, which is say. And then um, the, there are a number of different parts for Chile in this submod. So let's take a look at them. So first is the Don Falange Nacional. So Arturo Puga can establish a Saudio regime. He can let the party's rule be utter and total. He shall eliminate mental hygiene and crime. Salve el Caudillo. He shall establish a cultural war against the old and create the vanguardist Falange. He shall establish national re-foundation. So he's very similar to Joseph Goebbels' this old content in Kaiser Redux. So if you want to laugh as Joseph Goebbels without being Joseph Goebbels and while being in Latin America, then this submod is for you. Then Arturo Puga can be replaced by the Palamhu Council. And they are national cooperatives and one of their parts is Salvador Allende, who in our timeline was the president of Chile in the early 1970s, but he got cooed by Augusto Pinochet. And the Falange Council can create the National Directory, support patriotic values, and have a new kind of red Christian thought. Basically, all of these people are national Bolsheviks. And we also have La Barca and the Totalist faction. They can establish a permanent revolutionary doctrine with centralized planning, extended power for the chairman, and they can establish revolutionary commissars like Joseph Stalin did in our timeline. And yes, direct rule from Santiago. So basically, this submod at now take my words with a grain of salt, but this is similar to, I would say that this submod adds various different parts for Chile, which are basically uh, Strasserite. Now, obviously, Strasser is not in this timeline, but 
It has like three different flavors of national Bolshevism. So it is very interesting. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to showcase this new mod. It is already released, but instead of going into the game files or playing this game, I decided to just show it off with these screenshots. So download link is in the description. Download to the Discord is also in the description. Try out the mod if you want to laugh at some new and weird kind of thing. Of course you want to do you boy for nerds. <laughs> anyway, try it out and have a good day.